Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan and welcome to my plan with me for July 8th through the 14th. I'm in my Erin Condren Colorful Vertical, which is a switch for me um, with this new academic year. I'm going to decorate my planner this week with Boulder Bonds Meet Me in July. Here are the full boxes, to-do lists, event labels, some deco and a weekend banner, lots of journaling stickers, and I just want to show you, but I'm probably not going to be able to fit all of these into the spread. This goes with the vertical kit, so I'll definitely use this skinny vertical washi. Look at this deco. So much is available in this theme. And if you decide you want to try Boulder Bond, you can use my discount code, Sarah15. That one does go with the vertical kit. And here are some notes page headers. I'll set these aside and then possibly pull out some deco at the late stages of the setup. If you watched my setup video when I moved into this planner, you know that I wanted to utilize the stickers that came with the planner as much as possible. So I have already put some of these circles down that say Mom Day on them. The circle stickers are ones that I always underuse and I decided to just add a homemade Mom Day sticker to each one. And I'm hopefully going to be able to leave this here and work around it with the kit. The colors should work together well, so we'll just hope to leave it in place. And the washi tape this week has got vibrant red in it. And the blue is almost like a denim blue mixed with a bit of turquoise. That's really pretty. So normally what I do is put this down at the bottom, but I think I want to try it up at the top this time. And it looks like this header space is sufficient for the larger washi. I'll trim it with my handy scraper. Hope you guys had a wonderful 4th of July. This is still a patriotic theme, clearly, and I'm going with it. And I'm going to try to go with blues this entire month. And I already shared the kits that I'm going to be using throughout the entire month, and I'll recap that for any of you who missed that. But there is going to be a new thing this month called Viewer's Choice, and the winner of Viewer's Choice, which was a poll that I did in my Facebook group, was Use Your Stash. So we are going to be having a fun Use Your Stash week at some point. Not sure what I want to do with the thin washi now that I've done this. Maybe here. Let's put it down here at the very bottom, just so we don't see the bottom of the shaded box. And that will probably look fine. Put the other one down with the red on the right side. So for the 4th of July, we got together and had a cookout, except it wasn't a cookout. It was barbecue that we just bought. So we did not have to do any actual cooking. And we had family members come over. It was a nice gathering and various family members brought various dishes with them. We supplied the barbecue and the um, corn on the cob and some baked beans. It was all really yummy. And so we had a really good time. We didn't do any fireworks or watch any fireworks, and um, but we did hear the fireworks going on all around us. And it, we had a thunderstorm when um, our party was about to start at five o'clock. I love this one. This is going to be my focal point. We had a thunderstorm and it was really raining heavily and it was super hot, but that thunderstorm brought the temperature down a few degrees. So I was very grateful for that thunderstorm. Okay, so for mom day, what I think I'm gonna do, if I had not already put these down, I would possibly put them on top of full boxes, but since I did already put them down, I'm going to work around them. So I think these two little birdies ought to go together. Let's use this, which looks like a bow tie slash sunglasses, and let's put it right above this circle and see how that looks. I think it looks fine. And let's do one above this mom day. I love this bird. I don't know if that's an actual bird, but 
He is super cute and I love these flowers. This reminds me of what we put in the center of our table on the 4th of July. And some nice fresh flowers from Fresh Market. That looked really cute. Okay, like that. I'm gonna put a checklist underneath each one of these mom days. And the checklist may include things that I need to do with or for mom, but it also just might include general to-dos. And I can see that stripe through there, so I'm gonna white out this time. And I doubt that I will lift up that Monday checklist, but who knows? If it comes up easily, maybe I will. That's going to be better. Yeah, we'll just test this, see if it will come up. Seems like it will. And I only need that much of it to come up. This whiteout that I'm using is Tombow Whiteout. I think it's the best whiteout personally. And then we'll go ahead and do the Friday one. Okay, one more to-do list. Oop. Okay, so mom days are all done. Let's use these birds for the weekend so they can be together. Let's take it about right there. And then we'll put the weekend banner with it. Here's what it looks like. And we'll just put the K right in the center. And then this will be just right. Okay, I didn't really put the K right in the center because look how that didn't work out. But it's close enough for me where are the dates, you ask? Well, they're right here with these little numbers already stuck on. I did that before I filmed or turned on the camera. It is so hot here. I'm in southwestern Virginia. Really hot. Did I say it was cold here? Because I feel like I said it was cold here, but what I meant was it is so hot here. Hopefully that's what I actually did say. Today it was up to 96, and I know that where some of you live, it's hotter than that. 96 is hot enough for me. We live in an old house, and the whole thing is not air conditioned, just the upstairs. We added that. It wasn't here when we bought the house. and. That does a really decent job, but we have to keep the windows covered so that we have lots of windows so that the heat doesn't just multiply because of, of the sunshine coming in. All right, so now we have our dates in. I've got a home day here. I've got a home day here. We have the Erin Condren Back to School launch on the 9th. I have some new back to school goodies that the company sent me to share with you. So I'll have a video that's ready to share with you on that day. Plus, you'll be able to shop that day as well. You won't have to wait at all. So that's going to be kind of fun. Home day here. And home day just means I'm not running my errands on that day. And you know what? I just checked my calendar. This is all wrong because mom has got a doctor's appointment. I'm going to move my Monday over here to, to no, I can't do that. Hmm, I've got to do our medicine on Monday, so I've got to do this. Maybe we'll scoop mom from Wednesday to Tuesday. Can't do that either because my husband is going to need my car on Monday because he's doing an inspection. I told him he could use my car because I will be taking mom to her doctor's appointment on Tuesday. So what I'm going to have to do is go over there early and do her medicine before this. I'll just go over there before the weekend is over. And these are still coming up. That is great. Let's see if Erin Condren comes up. Well, it's not wanting to, but it's been down for a few weeks now.
There's this stuff called undo that you can use to get your stickers up, but I don't have any undo and I've never used it. But I know that you can, can use that. Okay, did tear the paper some right there. But I'm going to cover that up and we're just going to move this guy right here. There we go, so the mom days are fixed and this looks really messed up, but that's okay. I can cover that up with stickers, no problem. I covered up the kind of messed up little dividers there with these stickers that are in the kit, very handy. And I wrote on a few of these event labels. So on Monday, it's going to be a home day. And this is where I tore the paper. I'm just going to put that right on top of the tear and that way that day is fine now then i have two events on thursday i have summer piano lessons and i have a coffee date and i could go ahead and cover these so we have all matching headers for the full boxes or for the dividers between the boxes Erin Condon back to school lunch is on the morning of the 9th. Here's the meal plan for the week. Pretty routine for us. Pretty typical. And then I'll have my memory verse right here. So let's write memory verse on a header. These things are great for not just covering up the dividers, but if you want to put an event on top of a full box, they are perfect for that. Like you could block out a big chunk of time and then use one of these on top of it. I'm going to go ahead and write in the stuff that I'm going to do with mom on Tuesday and Wednesday. Let's go ahead and do another checklist for home day. Um, I would like to have a checklist, but also I tore the paper right here. <laughs> and it would be great to be able to cover that up. So we'll just put it right there. And I'm going to just flip back to my dashboard because one of the things that I talked about in my July setup plan with me is that if I just look at my goals, I am way more likely to make some progress on them. So I'm just going to list some things that are, will help me move along with these. We're gonna put a little clapper board here with film ahead just to be cute. And on Tuesday, it will be our daughter-in-law and new little grandsons, 36 weeks along point. And supposedly, baby is the size of a bunch of romaine lettuce. Do you call that a head? A head of romaine lettuce. And then let's go ahead and flip over to the other side because over here, our other grandbaby is going to be 19 weeks along and the size of a tomato. 
My fellow member of the EC Squad, Debbie Pettit, made me these EC Squad stickers. And I'm going to use that when there is an, a launch or something Erin Condren related. Aren't these cute? She also makes cards and things, and she sent me a beautiful card that I can send whenever the time is right. She's just very talented. Church on Sunday. How fun would it be to put this corner right here and this little corner with tulips right up here? Well, I think we know this will be very fun, but do we know how it's going to look? I was thinking here, but now I'm thinking let's do it here. And then we'll put the other one up here. This one with the American flag and all of the red, white, and blue flowers in front is way too cool to not use. We're going to use it. I'm going to just cover up the inner portion of this blue so that it doesn't show through, at least not very much. There we go. And now I've got everything down that I know about, so I'm just going to scatter some event labels around and leave spaces for me to write in as the week goes on. The only thing left to do is the memory verse. So if we turn back to this page here before the monthly divider, this is where I've put my memory verses. So the one for this week is, all the prophets testify about him, meaning Jesus, that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. Acts chapter 10, verse 43. Let's take a second to put some sticker scraps over here on the sticker scrap page. I'm only going to use the scraps from the pages that I used up quite a bit. I'm saving the others to possibly add to a giveaway pile. Here's a slow motion flyover for you so you can see the details up close. And this kit was called Meet Me in July. It's from Boulder Bond and I have a discount code, Sarah15, if you want to try Boulder Bond.
At the end of my weekly plan with me, I like to say a prayer, and I invite anyone who would like to to join me. This is a prayer that I will be using throughout the month of July. Lord God, maker of heaven and earth, we are your workmanship, created for good works in Christ. As believers, we join together in prayer to ask for your blessing and direction in our lives this month. You've given us good gifts, and you've provided all that we consider precious and dear. We want to be good stewards of your blessings and not take them for granted, or worse, fail to notice them. Help us as we attempt to become more aware of your daily involvement in our lives, and train us to take notice of your gifts, guidance, and correction. We seek to truly trust you as beloved children of a loving Father, so help us to get better at that day by day and moment by moment. Break the chains of any addiction that binds, any sin that defiles, any envy that steals our joy, and any worldly behavior that threatens to degrade or destroy. Who the sun sets free is free indeed, and we seek this freedom above all. Remind us that you are so near that our softest whispers reach your ear. We are instructed to pray without ceasing, and may this be a month in which you hear from us often. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friends, that's going to do it for this week's plan with me. I thank you so much for hanging out. Next week, we'll feature Mama Gloria Shop. The week after that is going to be Viewer's Choice, which is Use Your Stash. So we have some fun things coming up. Remember, on Tuesday, it's the EC Back to School launch. Some fun things, not just for kids, but for students of all ages, let's say. Anyone who loves school supplies. And I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.